Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BTNHD. And what do you really need to know about Windows 10, really? Now, Windows 10 is going to be releasing on July 29th. Microsoft is already advertising it to Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users. Microsoft's plan to get all Windows users on the same platform, the same operating system. The best thing about this new operating system is that it is free. Now the first year is free with all kind of updates. They're going to be pushing all kind of features and security updates and it's a full copy. Now the requirements to get this Windows 10 operating system is you need Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1. Now if you're building or running a virtual machine with Windows 10, you most likely you have to pay $110 from the home edition and I believe $199 or $99 for the professional edition. At the first year upgrade, you still need to purchase Windows 10 afterwards. Now the upgrade process is done with Windows updates, so you don't really need to go into a site or download anything because Windows is going to be pushing it down. Now Microsoft is rolling it out with a pop-up, which you guys already saw, and you need to reserve your spot. When the update is ready, it will automatically download to your machine in pieces. Now, taking this preload approach to pushing out Windows 10 is something that other operating systems have done in the past. And Microsoft is trying it out for the first time. Now, reserving now will relieve wait time if you download it. So, take your spot, sign up, because little by little, each day, the download is going to be uh, appearing in your machine. Now, Guys, please make sure that you back up your files because even though the operating system or the new upgrade won't erase your machine, just make sure you back it up. Now for software and hardware, Windows 10 will inform you if you have any issues. So what's new with Windows 10? Well, you got desktop improvement, better security, <laughs> charm bar is gone finally, the start menu is back sort of, all apps run normally on the desktop, you got task view which is a different name for virtual desktop. You got a hands command prompt which us geeky persons or us geeky guys love. The new browser is called Edge which is going to be the default even though Internet Explorer is still installed. Cortana is going to be part of the upgrade. Some Windows features can be found but this is the best thing about Windows 10. It allows you to disable them. Microsoft's plans for Windows 10 is basically that it is going to be the last version of Windows. That's it. It's only going to be one version of the operating system and that's going to be Windows 10. Microsoft is going to be pushing updates to improve Windows 10 with new features, UI features, so we're not going to be getting any Windows 10.1 or Windows Service Pack 1. Now even though Windows 10 Preview is still buggy, I still feel like, you know, it's, it's a good upgrade. It's free, which you have to take advantage of the first year. Uh, one of the best things about Windows 10 is, you know, even though you got live tiles, universal apps, Microsoft account integration, but the best thing about Windows 10 is it allows you to disable them. You don't really need it to work with the operating system. And that's it, guys. That's all you need to know about Windows 10. Again, it's around the corner. We got one more month for it to release to the wild. Uh, Go check out the leak of, I believe, what is it, the 10147. That build looks like something a little close of what we're going to be seeing for July 29th. Of this, that's the home edition, which is pretty okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video, as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.